What is up, Pokemon fans and IndieZen fans? Today, we are taking a look at Pokemon Emerald Rogue. This is my personal favorite Pokemon ROM hack, and Emerald has had a lot made about it due to how easy it is. So we are going to jump into this. I'm going to show you the ins and outs of it. We're going to go through the first gym together, which it's not really a gym. It's You'll see. So let's go ahead and hop in. All right, I'm going to start a new game just for the fun of it. So, like any Pokemon game, we of course have to have an intro. We gotta have the dark room, we gotta have our professor talking at us and telling us what a big life we're about to have. So, we got our Pokemon, alright, love it. We're gonna embark on this binge, uh, <laughs> embark on this adventure. In the world in Pokemon, you encounter will be different, isn't that nice? Alright, so who am I? I'm gonna keep it easy. I'm gonna be, so, by the way, not a normal thing in ROM hacks, but there is a character creator. Not as in-depth as some of the other ROM hacks, but it's still cool that you get the option. So I can be Brendan, I can be May, I can be Red, or I can be Leaf. All of them even have their own color palettes to choose from. Now I'm a fan of Brendan, I was always a fan of his white hair, even though I thought it, well, actually, hold on me backwards. That's a hat. I swore that was a hat as a kid, but it's, it's... Wait, no, it is, that's right. That is a hat, it's not his hair. I thought he had white hair as a kid, I was wrong. All right, glad we got this sorted. So, I'm gonna be, no, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm a white guy, so I'll just stick with it. And I'm gonna go with blue, blue da -dee, right? This is my avatar. All right, my name, we're just gonna keep it simple. I, nope, am Zen. All right, it is Zen. All right, thanks for waiting your lab for me. Okay, so now we are gonna be hopping into the main game. I still love this part that they included in it. Getting driven to your new home in a van? It's pretty baller. It's pretty scary they did it for a child, but, you know, he was fine with it. So we are fine with it. Okay, so this right here is an ever-growing central hub that you come to after adventures or runs, right? And as you go on adventures, get better and better at the game, you start unlocking more hubs to help future adventures go more smoothly, offer different options, and run variability. So as you can see, it's super vacant right now, aside from these two houses, which we got the config lab, which we'll start with that just to let you see what's up and show how in-depth this ROM hack is. So all these green switches give you options on things you can do. So if I step on here, I can enable EVs. You can it'll even tell you what they're about. I like having EVs, so I keep them on. This is a over leveling. So in each biome, they treat it like a normal roguelite stage where it gets progressively harder. So you have a level cap on the first area, second area, third area, where as you beat the first boss, then you can level up your Pokemon higher. This means that um, evolving and then certain moves, of course, are locked behind their level, but it's also locked behind progression. So it's kind of a fun thing to look forward to. So I keep over leveling off just to kind of go with the mod style. Experience all, you know, so that way everybody levels up together. Definitely keep this on. You'll see because you, you want everybody to stay up to date as much as possible. Item ra rates is average. Average is good. You don't want to just flood yourself. And trainer difficulty. This is one that you're going to have to tinker with because easy is like a regular Pokemon game. Average is like the Elite Four at all times. And hard is... It's, it's hard. They know type advantages. So we're going to stick with average. And last but not least... Oh, I already did item rates. Now over here, you can do seated runs. So if you want to have a future run to do, you can do it. Okay, so with that, let's go talk to the professor and get this show on the road. By the way, I forgot to say it. I'm using a PS5 controller. Just a, you know, gotta love emulators. They allow this. I usually play this on my Android, by the way. So just a heads up, it's a fun one to use on touchscreen too. 
I recommend uh, Pizza Boy Advance on Android. All right. Thanks for having me, Professor. I'm itching to go. All right, so I got to get a Pokemon. So one fun thing about this, especially being on an emulator, I would save here. Um, and then what's nice is once you do this, you can get a random new Pokemon each time to start with. So a lot of things don't carry between runs, but what does carry is your starter. As far as I remember, it's been a while since I played and you know really started the new game. But I haven't lost my other Pokemon, so they are different each time, so you can really figure out what you want. So let's see how random it is. Oh! No, no I don't want a Pineco. Okay, just an Aerodactyl out the gate. And a Geodude. You know what, dude? I'm getting an Aerodactyl. Ain't nothing wrong with starting with Dragon. Alright, so I got my Aerodactyl. I do want to give him a nickname. This shall be... Let's go, uh, Ig... Ignisius. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love it. Thanks, man. So I got a Pokédex, I got some Pokéballs, and I got some potions. This means I am ready to head out on my adventure. I don't need to know how it works. I know how it works. Okay, so now that we've got our Pokemon, I've showed you Config Lab, we're ready to jump into the meat and potatoes of this game and get running and gunning. So we come in here. My man's going to talk to me. I did get myself a Parker partner Pokemon. I'm ready to go. Nice. Got the quest log. So notice this. Optional quest for you to complete while you're out. It's nice because you do get better rewards and it can help in future runs and help speed things up and let you know you're going to kill it. And you, got, you got a PC as well for things you might need. So I've gained zero badges, no from the dev, run stats to come in a future update. Oh, so it's not there yet. But you got your PC, but we're going to jump in. This lady's going to let us go. I'm ready. I'm saving the game. Oh, dang it. My bad. Okay. Yes, let's save. I do. I did it. Okay. We're all in. We're heading in. We're going in. Okay, so this is the Slay the Spire map. Notice, you have pathways. You have the little ledges you can hop over, meaning you can't come back. Each icon represents a type of biome environment and the Pokemon you might find there. So you kind of get an idea of what Pokemon you'll find based on this, but then it's a calm, chilly route. That means you're going to find realistically ice type Pokemon. And chill, meaning not too hardcore, Chill usually means difficulty. It's a calm course route, so more rock Pokemon. And then down here, we got an average rugged route, so probably harder than the calm route, and some strong Pokemon. Now, I'm gonna get some ice in my veins first off, so we're gonna hop in. So each biome can be a different size. They're all random. They all have items to find, little stuff to mess with. So right off the bat, we got some health feathers. Nice, heal balls off the bat. So we're actually gonna go ahead and use those feathers. I'm gonna make my boy strong. All right, so let's go ahead and hop down to it. And you can get berries in each biome. But one of the main factors that I you know, want to go over, just because it's, it was such an exciting thing to learn, is in each biome, when you pause, there are six question marks there. There are six different Pokemon to find in this environment. Only six, though. No more, no less. Sometimes there may be a level or two above. They can be shiny, but they usually even have different move sets. So we're going to go exploring and see what we get. 
All right, out the gate, ready to go. Ooh, a Chinchu. All right, first things first. No, let's not even do that. One thing to keep in mind is Pokemon level up really fast in here. And so you got to be picky on the fight you take because you don't want to get too overpowered because then level 1 to 7, you're going to kill it on first hit. Don't get me wrong. A low level like this, you can pretty much just catch them on first shot. But just in case, something to keep in mind. There's who I'm catching right there. We're going in immediately. No, I didn't mean to run. I had uh, used a shortcut for Pokeballs and it did not work. Oh my god, a spiel. Okay, I'll catch it. Little water ice. I like it. Yep, see? Immediately. Yeah, you can make some room for more. Get rid of Scary Face. Or Roar. <laughs> yeah, I did. Way to go, Spiel. Alright, so your name, since you are a male... Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Shall be... Damn it, I hit the wrong button. Husky. Oops. Hank. Husky Hank it is! Husky Hank is ready to wheel and deal, I'll tell you that much. Now I just need my Aaron. Or A-A-Ron. Alright, so how many Pokemon have I found? Four of six. Let's keep exploring then, actually. There are trainers in each biome, just a heads up. Alright, let's keep going. Notice, there is a cut down there. So, HMs are still something you gotta get in here. Um, and I do recommend using them once you get them. Alright, so we're gonna do our Pokeball on this. A uh, nice thing about HMs, they do carry between runs, so when you start your next run, it, once you get cut, you have cut, and you can just teach it to your next team in the next run. Alright. Nice. Oh, hell yeah, I want rollout. Let's do it, Husky Hank. Goodbye, Growl. Keep the fence curl for the moment, just so I can roll out with some fucking metal on me. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Alright, this is gonna be a... That's right, a, -A Ron. Alright, we're doing it now. We are ready to kill! Alright, so we're just going to keep speeding through here, see if we can get the last two types of Pokemon, but not too stressed about it. And we're going to move forward. No, I don't want to switch. You know what, though? You do. Take my attack. Yeah, buddy! Nice. Ice Ball? I do want you to learn Ice Ball. Yeah. Defense Krill it is. Goodbye. Dude, Husky Hanks already got a move set on him. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You should absolutely learn Metal Claw. We're going to actually get rid of Mudslap for that. I am an offensive player in Pokemon. It's probably a reason I have struggles, but I 
like it, though. Get that aggressive team. Make him nervous. All right, Rock Tomb is a good one. And no, he learned it so early. All right, we are ready to go. Dang it. Oh! A Lapras? Just over here hanging out in the grass. Yeah, yeah. Shelly, Shelly, Shelly. All right, so well, we got to do it. All right, if you want the storm, let's do it, man. It's brewing. All right, lady, <laughs> lady, child, just lady. Send that a Spiro. Well, look how big my wings are. Let's have a wing off. Let's wing it together. Just gonna handle them, man. Yeah, Shelly, learn some confuse race. Yeah, you did. Absolutely, you should learn ice shard. Probably n I'm gonna have to get rid of an ice Pokemon later on. So we'll have to make a decision on that. Yeah. Alright, Water Gun, it was nice knowing you. Yeah, you did. Iggly buff! Oh, I feel bad about this, but it's gotta happen. Bye! I did defeat her. Alright, we're gonna try to hop to the end here and get out of here. Here it is! So there's more items you can collect, of course, but your goal is to get to the cave at the end of the level. Well, I guess I can collect some berries really quick. Nice. I will say this, one thing I wish this had is the ability to have your Pokémon follow you. Totally get why they don't. They don't need to, it's not necessary. It'd just be a nice little feature. But there are a lot of ROM hacks which specialize in doing stuff like that. So definitely recommend uh, keeping an eye out. Alright, where's my cave? There it is. So this is always the ending to an open stage like this, is a cave like this. Go back to our map, we got more options. Um, so if you look, there are a shopkeeper NPC and a shady looking NPC. So the shop NPC is literally a big island for a supermarket. You can buy TMs there, HMs there, potions, Pokeballs, so on and so forth. They have name raiders. Then the guy in the shady looking coat there is a battle shop. You can buy really expensive moves from them. People can teach your moves. They have a lot of move tutors there. and It's just an island to up your Pokemon. You will not have a lot of money starting out, so always go to the regular shop in TC first. All right, what do we got? Average swarming? Oh. Typical. Tough confusing. Tough wet. So I already have that. We're gonna go to the first one. Swarming. I don't know what that means. But there's only four Pokemon, so it's probably gonna be a small area. Let's go this way. Feeling it, feeling it. Ooh, I hear a cross. Okay, I can, I can. No, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. Oh, using a joystick sometimes has problems on this. It's whatever though. Oh, 
will survive. I'm using D-pad on this. Come here, Bulbasaur. You butthole. I'm gonna have to hurt you. I'm supersonic it. Hurt yourself, hurt yourself. Yeah! Oh, dude, I'll tell you this right now. We're gonna use a heal ball and have some success. There it is. Alright, um, I'm gonna keep it simple. Bulba. No. Boba. Hell yeah, I got a Bulbasaur. There's a Heracross here, which... Oh. Almost got in a battle there. Let's keep going this way. Dude, how did I avoid this? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? A Paris! I don't really want a Paris, but I'm glad they exist. Alright, so that means there's only one more Pokemon to discover, and I'm probably gonna grab me a Heracross while I'm here. Actually? I'm gonna grab a Nidoran. Get the real po poison in my life. my last Pokeball on you. Last one. One thing to keep in mind is you should definitely get in the groove of catching Pokemon at all times. Because like I said, when they die, it's over. So you might as well get them while you can and go through these environments and just keep updating your team. It sucks, but you gotta treat it like fantasy football. Like, you can't really get that attached, and that's okay. It makes it fun. Man, sleep powder, poison powder. Have to get rid of that. Okay, got some sleepy times. Hell yeah, I want to learn takedown. Learning all this stuff. Goodbye, tackle. You shall be just queen. There it is. Alright, I don't... How many Pokemon do I got? Six. So I don't actually need to catch anything else right now. If I run into a Heracross, I'm down. Alright, let's fight, kid. I need to update my, uh, my roster anyways. Oh, Sentry, I'm gonna eat you. Yeah, you did. Mm hmm. Nice. And just like that, my whole team is at 15. That's right, I did. Okay, so with that, we just need to breeze through and get to the first gym. We have a team at all 15. We're golden. Let's go to the shop. Alright, so as you can see, it is a little island. All of them are different vendors. This man, when I can talk to him, is the name raider. I never cared about that, ever. This guy sells uh, TMs. Depending on your need. 
There's some good ones. Over here. Medicine. How many potions I got? I only have one in my bag. Yeah, let's get three. Now we get four potions. Get some antidotes. And some paralyzed heal. No, not anymore. And then just some awakening. There we go. And then we're going to spend the rest on Pokeballs. Ooh. That's right, that's right. We'll get four. Yeah, what can I sell to you? Sell these Pokey toys. enough to get one more Pokeball. Alright, now we're good to go. Now I have enough to uh, last me through the next part. Let's go to the gym. I don't even need to uh, actually get out. So this is a Nurse Joy. She's extremely rude. I'm going to let you see. Ugh, you want me to heal you or something? Look, kid, I'll give you a simple, single free heal. After that, you're going to have to pay. You want to use your free heal now? No, I don't. So yeah, one free heal. If you can avoid it, do it. After that, you got to pay. It's not super expensive. It's just annoying. And it is a proper roguelite. You got to get punished if you want to do that, you know? This lady has the Clefairy. You can beat the Clefairy and it will level up all of your team to the max level of the area. Something good to keep in mind. But it's not too hard to do it otherwise. Until you get to higher levels. Oh yeah, it's Juan. I'm not going to hold back, Juan. Don't you worry. So now we're at our gym battle. And we got Juan. Looking fantastic. Sending out Whalmer to start it off. And if that's the case... Let's get some Vine Whip on him. Do a Bulbasaur. Oh shit, he's rolling out on me immediately? This is what we do. There we go. That's right, you did. Yeah, you are. Super effective. Do it again. Very fast asleep. And that's why you did this. Stay asleep. You just got whipped. Alright, who's up next? Polywag. Dude, you know what? This is a great strategy. Oh, and I got lucky because you're about to do the same thing to me. But, here's the thing. I'm the best. Too asleep. Too asleep. And just like that, we did it. And last but not least, <gasps> oh, I gotta take down family. Wow, and your speed was too low. But at least I can do it with mercy. You don't even have to attack me. You don't have to think about it. It's going to be over before you wake up. Oh, really? If I can get this vine whip out... I'm safe. I'm safe. By the way, the reason you don't need to get attached to your team is it is a roguelite, so you are up to the mercy of uh, procedural generational RNG magic. So if you don't get a good lineup, you can lose almost your whole team. Last round, I lost my starting, my starter, and four of my other members and had one left. And that was it. So don't get attached. Like, I almost lost Bulbasaur, and that would have been it. Boba would have been gone. But yeah, we have beat the gym leader. So I got my gym badge. 
On top of that, there are other goodies. I also get some quests. And I'm going to retire. So I could continue on, go to the next area, which is usually bigger, more options, and harder, of course. And the level cap increases, so evolutions come into play. Even up to the fact you might encounter legendary Pokemons. But, for the sake of this video, we are going to leave. We're going to not continue. We're going to head back to the hub and collect our mission rewards. That's right. I completed four routes. So I get... $1,000. It's lovely. Alright, Scott, what are you going to give me? I know what a rare candy is. Yeah, we'll save. Alright, so we're saving. It did save the game. I will come speak to you. And then, what do I get? Three rare candies, a thousand dollars, and I unlocked the Mar uh, Martin clothes shop. And I got an HM cut. That's right, so now I have cut forever. So now we'll come to this lady again. Can I actually, I don't remember. Now we'll just save. And then we'll go check out the shop and then we'll cut it. So we come out here. Now we've got a whole new building, technically. They just stand outside, but they offer different things. And we got this right here. Clothes shop. We go in here, there's even an NPC walking down there. And we can get fancy with it. So, yeah, look at this. You can just change your style up here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at me. That's me, right there. What's up, dog? Uh, uh, check it out. Yeah. All right. I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Remember to like and subscribe. Definitely check out Pokemon Emerald Rogue. It is fantastic, as you can see. A lot of works went into it. And there's way more to discover than what I showed you. This was just to get you in the door. So, if you have a copy of Emerald, load it up to your PC, apply the mod, and have a great time with a Game Boy Advance emulator of your choice, or even on your phone. But yeah, catch you in the next one.